Story of Food Food is one of the basic needs of all living beings. Human beings cultivate the earth and make a variety of interesting and tasty foods. Look at this picture. You can see the expression on the man's face to what he has tasted. Hot, sweet, sour, bitter. Show the changes in your face if you were to taste these things. Chili is hot in taste. Salt is sour in taste. Bitter gourd is bitter in taste. Laddu is sweet in taste. The story of cultivation. Early human beings were first hunters and food gatherers. Later, they closely observed nature and understood that plants grow out of seeds. Then they collected seeds and sowed them. To water them regularly, they started to live on the banks of rivers and raised crops. Thus started the art of cultivation. Much of the food we eat in Tamil Nadu is prepared out of rice. There are many traditional varieties of rice in India. Do you know who I am? I am the paddy seed. I give you the rice that you eat every day. I flourish in a hot and humid climate. I grow in places which have high rainfall or where my field may be flooded with water from a nearby well or river. In Tamil Nadu, I grow in coastal wetlands and in the fertile clay soil along the river banks. Do you know there are some kinds of paddy that can grow with very little water or even in salt water? Let us see the different stages of the cultivation of rice. The fields are prepared by ploughing. The seeds are sown on the seedling beds. After some days, they are transplanted by hand in the fields and flooded by rain or river water. Weeds are removed. The crops are irrigated till they grow. Grains are fully covered with brown husk. The paddy is ready for harvest. The paddy is threshed to loosen the husk. It is taken to the mill and the husk is removed. Finally, it is taken to the market for sale. How do we get sugar? From the sugar plant, the sugar cane is cut into pieces. The cut pieces of sugar cane are carried by truck to sugar mills. There, the extraction of sugar is done, the baggies and the residue are removed and the sugar is made in different shapes and sizes. Sugarcane grows well in a hot and humid climate. It needs clayey wet soil. It is mainly grown in areas where there is plenty of water. Ragi, millet, kambu, maize. Ragi has calcium that helps in the formation of bones and teeth. It is called finger millet 
because of the finger like branches on the plant. Kambu is called pearl millet because the grains look like pearls. Our country is a big producer of kambu. Foxtail millet or thinai is another ancient grain of India. It is extremely good for health. Whole grain gruel. It is very important to have nutritious food every day. The most nutritious breakfast is whole grain gruel. It is a mixture of many grains and cereals in semi-liquid form. It tastes good when jaggery is added to it. Pulses We can prepare idli, dosa, vada, sambar etc. from these pulses. Here are some common pulses rich in protein. We include pulses in our daily food. Black gram, moong dal, green gram, bengal gram, tuwar dal. Greens Include greens in your food. You might notice that all these greens have Tamil names. They are being used from ancient times. Minerals and vitamins are present in greens. They give strength and energy to our body. Murungai, Thuduvalai, Sirukirai, Manatarkali, Vallarai, Agathikirai, Vendayakirai, Pasalaikirai, Molakirai, Ponnangani. Spices We use them every day in our cooking. Now, let us look at the medicinal value of common spices. Perungayam Asafoetida, Milagu, Pepper, Jiragam, Cumin Seeds, Kadugu, Mustard, and Dhania, Coriander Seeds, Aid Digestion. Poondu, Garlic, is good for respiratory problems. It kills intestinal worms. Karvepile, curry leaves, is good for the hair and the eyes. Manjal, turmeric, is a powerful antiseptic. It kills intestinal worms. Inji, fresh ginger, is good for treating nausea. Chilies are of various kinds, high in vitamin C, and minerals. Ask your grandmother to tell you all the medicinal uses of spices that she knows. Make a little booklet of her remedies. Eat healthy food. We work, we play, we think and we write. The internal organs of our body are continuously working. We need energy. We get energy from food. It also helps us to grow. It is very important to have nutritious food every day. It would be good for you to have at least one glass of milk every day. Cereals like rice and wheat, millets like ragi and cholam, pulses like tuvarai, red gram dal and pachai payiru, green gram dal and oil seeds like yellu, sisem and nilakadalai, groundnut are used daily in our kitchen 
to make healthy food. How do we get our food? The food that people ate traditionally depended on the crops that were cultivated in the place where they lived. The crops depended on the climate and soil. Today, with the growth of towns and cities, many people don't grow their own crops. Apart from farming, People have also reared cows, goats and sheep, poultry and caught fish. Along with rice, pulses, vegetables and fruits, milk, meat, fish, eggs and farm produce are carried by trucks and lorries to the common market. From the bazaar, it is taken to small shops for sale. We buy them from the common market and also from small traders. Using these products of the farm, different varieties of food are prepared and served. On Pongal Day, sweet Pongal is prepared with rice, jaggery, ghee and cashew nut. For Navaratri festival, varieties of grams or dal are soaked in water and cooked. For Christmas, cakes and pastries are made from wheat and milk products. For Bakrid, biryani is prepared with meat and eggs. Shall we drink fruit juice? Take a lemon. Cut it into two pieces. Squeeze out the juice. Add two to three cups of water. Mix well with three to four spoons of sugar. Add a pinch of salt. Lemon juice is ready. A healthy drink on a hot day. You can also prepare orange juice by the same method. People who help us. We need the services and cooperation of all people in a society to live in peace and happiness. Here are some services we are going to learn about. Indian scientist and former president of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, replies to letters or greetings sent to him by school children. This is a reply from him to a class 3 student, K. Janani, of Anichampalayam Panchayat Union Middle School. How do we get letters from distant places? You will wonder how a letter reaches our friends and relatives. Now let us observe the services of the postman. The post office is an important place in our neighborhood. We buy stamps, envelope, postcards and money order forms from the post office. We send and receive letters and parcels through the post office. We can also send urgent messages through telegrams and parcels through speed post. The journey of a letter. We post the letters in the letter box. The letter box is red in color. Letters are collected in a bag from the letter box. They are sent to the main post office. The sorter separates the letters. Then the letters are sent to different places by air, land, 
or C. A postman or a postwoman delivers the letters to the address written on the letter. The development of information technology has reduced the usage of letters and telegrams. Exchange of information and messages takes place mostly through email using computers and cell phones. Bank Learn to save money Banks help us to save money and also get back money whenever we need it. It is safe to keep money in the bank. Banks also provide us with safety lockers to keep our valuable things. National banks and cooperative banks help us to save, borrow and repay the money. Name some of the banks that you know. Automatic Teller Machine this is the automatic teller machine. We can use an ATM card to withdraw money from our bank account at any time. It functions 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. Most people get loans from the bank for many of their activities. Find out how to use Pay in slip, check and demand drafts. People work to earn money for their needs and to contribute to their society. This we call as their profession or job. The people of the society in which we live are doing different types of work. But we live together in a society. All professions are interrelated and interdependent. Tailors stitch clothes. Masons construct houses and other buildings. A carpenter makes doors, windows and other fittings. A plumber fits and repairs the pipes for water supply and sanitation. A welder welds metal to make grills for windows and doors. The teacher teaches you to read and write. The washerman washes and irons your clothes. The sweeper cleans your surroundings. Can you think of any other public service? We need someone to give us medicine when we are sick, said the teacher. My mother is an assistant nursing midwife, a &M. She visits many villages once a week to give medicines to the sick people said Arul. Can nurses give medicines? asked Meena. Well, they are trained to do so, said the teacher. We find government hospitals in towns and cities. A small neighborhood has a primary health center, PHC, which benefits the people of the village. Mobile dispensaries help the people who do not have hospitals or primary health centers in their villages. Nurses are also trained to visit villages. Is the treatment free? asked Raju. Yes, all government hospitals and primary health centers give free treatment. Doctors and nurses take care of patients in government hospitals and primary health centers, said the teacher. There are doctors to treat sick birds 
and animals. So they are called veterinarians. How can we help them to help us better? We can separate the waste materials into biodegradable and non-degradable, said Natasha. We must not throw the waste into gutters, said Rani. We must not spit or throw rubbish on the road, said Balu. You are good citizens, said the teacher with a smile. You help us all to think, said Natasha with a smile. Public sector undertakings belong to the government. Their functions and proceedings are common to all the people. Water is supplied to houses in cities, towns and villages from different sources. Panchayats, municipalities and corporations take care of supplying good drinking water to our house. Power supply is provided by the Tamil Nadu Electricity Board, TNEB. Cities, towns and villages are provided with electricity. It is also supplied to industries and factories. Panchayats have Panchayat Union. Towns have municipalities. Cities have corporations. All these facilities which are common to the public are made available to you. One of the basic needs of man is water. The executive officer of the panchayats or municipalities takes the responsibility of providing water in common tanks wherever there is water shortage. Ration shop PDS A fair price shop is a public distribution system. It is also called a ration shop. We can get food grains, pulses, oil and kerosene from the ration shop at a price lower than the market price. One must have a ration card for buying these things from the shop. We go every month to the ration shop and buy our provisions. They are called fair price shops because they do not sell to make profit. The trained people of fire service will put out the fire and save people and property when there is a fire. When there are natural disasters like cyclones, floods and earthquakes, we get the help from the fire service. Do you know who maintains law and order? The policemen maintain law and order. They look after our property. When we have lost any valuables, we make a complaint at the police station. We feel safe because the policemen are on duty round the clock. There are all women police stations too. The policeman registers our complaints and takes action. He takes care of public safety. People in Army, Navy and Air Force protect our country. Music